man back. Yeah, that is true. Some people do do kind of specialize. I don't know. I've never felt like... I know everyone's voice has, like, an accent from where they grew grown up, but I just feel like I never really attached to one, because I grew up in a uh, pretty, pretty southern, but I don't really have much of a drawl or a tank unless I, like, lay it on really thick intentionally. And I just wonder if that's because... When you overcome one of oh. my trials... Do you not feel the pleasure of having discovered the proper order of things? That is the spark of Elohim within you, to create order from chaos. And therein is revealed the true meaning of our sigils. Your sigils are Tetris pieces, bruv. They're not that complicated. But uh, I don't know if that's because I spent most of my time... Um, reading books, so I just kind of developed my internal voice more so than my speaking voice. <laughs> Sometimes you have to find the courage to break down the barriers with an axe! I seek words to describe it, but fail. It is the overwhelming feeling that something on the edge of my understanding is very, very wrong. I feel that I'm not meant for this world, but I'm not able to conceptualize alternatives. I'm a computer program. You're a computer program. Eloheim's a computer program. Get over it. Yeah, and you also said the enjoying the acting part of it. I definitely back when I've run RPG campaigns. I, I've always been the forever DM, so I certainly had a lot of opportunity to do to do funny voices for a variety of persons. <laughs> oh great, another Osiris text. I think we went from like 8 and now we're at 11. But why, the dying man said, do the gods put all these challenges before us? Why the walls of iron and the gates of light? Why the abominable demons guarding the path? Why must our hearts be judged to be as light as the feather of mine? Why is the road to our so difficult? The scribe considered these words. Some say that once the paths to Aru were, were open, but too many sinners came, and the gods made these paths perilous to keep sin at bay. Others say that, being mortals, we cannot be worthy of Aru unless we walk the path of Osiris, and so become Osiris ourselves. But I believe that Aru can never be reached elsewise, for the like of the mountain path must be steep. The path to Aru must be fraught with peril. As steepness and mountain are one, so are peril and paradise. They are inextricable. They create each other. There's a subnote one. There's an interesting parallel to this phrase within the Penitel Psalms, where okay, I don't know what those are. Subnote two. Here the scribe appears to be speaking of Osiris, meaning the soul of the deceased, not the god himself. I don't know what that is. Oh yeah, voicing being a game, I imagine, would be fantastic. It's something, it's something about... Um, uh, uh, strangers being able to, um, being able to touch the lives of people you may never ever meet, but because that piece of you is out there, it, uh, it will reach them. Progress Report 16. This is extremely worrying. If the link doesn't work, the whole project will lead to nothing. The hardware team must recheck everything ASAP. Guys, 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 stop panicking. Look at your code again. In fact, look at line 217 in data transfer. What are those two symbols just before the code? That's right. Oh, backslash, backslash. That's right. The code that actually initiates the transfer wasn't even running. I'm guessing you were testing something yesterday and forgot to decommentify it. 
The hardware isn't broken, your brains are. Love, Aurora. Damn. That's a... Uh, that's, that's, uh, that's a little rude. The whole assembly stood a while. Stood a while... A while silent? While silent? I don't know. Is that like a really weird way to use a while? Or is this a glitch typo? Huh. The whole assembly stood while silent and collected. A while silent and collected. Let us return, said Roslas, from this scene of mortality. How gloomy would these mansions of the dead to him who did not know that he should never die, that what now acts shall continue its agency, and what now thinks shall think on forever. Homage to you, Osiris, Lord of Eternity, King of the Gods, whose names are manifold, whose forms are holy, you being of hidden form in the temples, whose Ka is holy. All the gods praise you, for you are the... something. Those that lie here, stretched before us, the wise and the powerful of ancient times, warn us to remember the shortness of our present state. They were perhaps snatched away while they were busy, like us, in the choice of life. <laughs> Thank you, Iris. I... I have one of the irons in the fire does include uh, a blush emoji, which I feel like I need to put that on a hotkey somewhere so I can spam it myself while I'm streaming. Because I don't have a blush toggle for my model, although in hindsight, I... You know, even in foresight, I might reach out and see if they still have the files and if uh, they would be down for further further stuff. Oh, that's right, I already read all the QR codes. Frogs are people too. This is hold on. A spot what I didn't say this! What the you're putting words in my you're putting QR codes in my mouth. But yes, frogs are people too. <laughs> it's a froggy frog world out there. Fine, Aurora, I'll hydrate. Definitely, definitely need to keep the keep the lubrication with all the uh, text I'm reading. What's more pathetic, the shallow construct of a world, this idiot's playground, or that I continue to solve his contrivances for lack of better sport? There's more to it. Look at what we're doing. We're solving problems, being tested, and proving ourselves. Some of us fall early and get replaced, but you and me, we're still going. We're closer to the end. I have traveled to the edge of the known universe. Though it seems to stretch on forever, our domain is much less than we imagined. Egyptian Arcade. That's, uh, interesting way of phrasing things. What do we got? Okay, we have a jammer. Noted. Oh, it's our old friend, the explosives! We haven't seen y'all in a while! How have y'all been? Still, uh, yep, still, still doing, still doing that thing. Let's just grab this guy, and then we'll do this, and we'll do this. We'll just leapfrog these bad boys. Ah! It almost blew me up. It scared me for a second. <laughs> I was very spooked. No, 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 no! No, no, no! Go away! Okay. Um... 
This is so risky. Uh, I did this way too close to it. Oh no! All right. Uh, nothing happened. Forget all about that. <laughs> ah! I see. Save that. Grab this. No! Why is it doing that? That wasn't even the camera that was turning off the force field. Why does it keep... That's so strange. I am baffled. Flummoxed. Confounded, even. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the boop. Certainly need some... Affirmations from all this insanity, apparently. Hmm, I have made a terrible series of mistakes. Okay, I do not know how I'm going to get out of this, but I certainly put myself into a problem. Alright, so we're going to get this. No, 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 we'll get away, we'll get away, we'll just let them do their thing, whatever they're doing. Cool, cool. I don't think I like Egyptian Arcade. I think Egyptian Arcade is a bunch of bollocks. Okay, what can I do to simplify this? Ideally, I could get both of the explosives out. I think that's what I really should focus on. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Drecky, what are you doing? Drecky? Drecky? You know what? No, I'm not gonna blow up this time. Put myself into an unwinnable situation. <laughs> Causing me problems. Can we take this through? Whoa, hey. Okay, we have the keys. Nope, wrong one. Okay.
pretty sure I'm gonna need both cameras. No, let's, um, uh, hold on. Let's keep it open so we can get both of those out of our way. All right. Okay, progress. We have made progress. Through our code? This whole world is a desert. Even the parts that look alive are just more sand. Everything is dead or dying. Anyone who tells you different is lying. Dang, dog. You're getting kind of grim, ain't ya? Ah. There are three guns. I see. So I need to hit this lever. It's over here. Hmm. Fine. Now run. Alright. Just run under just fine. Power that down. Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. Mission accomplished. We got ourselves the long piece. We got Tetris the long way. <laughs> uh, is there anything else? I'm not seeing anything. These side areas make me paranoid that there's something hidden. It always ends up bamboozling me when there's like a tiny thing hidden in just just the right turn of the corner. Hmm. What do we got here? Crisscross conundrum. Alright, start from the beginning. Red lasers. Now we need blue lasers. I see. Well, let's see where this red laser takes me. Alright, so we have another one. And another one. Yep, and another one. Okay, we have four lasers now. Interesting. Very interesting. What can we do? What do we do with a drunken sailor? What do we do with a drunken sailor? What? Oh. No. Oh, I don't think that's right. That doesn't work. I see. Oh, what if I make... What if I make red over here? And then I make blue go around the back. I don't think I have enough to do that. I have three to get to the blue. Can I make red go a weird direction? Let's see. Ultimately, Blue to blue. Yes. Back here. There.
Ah, nope, it has to be blue the long way. Snurf! Okay, so we got that. One short of getting it around. What about this? Can I do this? No, it's not high enough. That would be high enough, I think, but that crosses the red? No, it doesn't. Yeah, I think that's going to cross the red. Oh no, I was thinking of this one. It's probably high enough. No, I need it more to the right. If I just get one here, like this. No! Blood and ashes, are you serious? You bloody fucking joshing me, mate? How? It's on a different angle! Alright. What are we missing? Hmm. Ah, there we go. I think we got it. I'll let you be the boops, Aurora. Hope your quest was... Your quest rewards were satisfactory. Right, that was... That was twisty. Paint. I don't know what I did. Was, I, I've tried using that paint bucket a couple times I've found it. It just doesn't really just like paint a message. I think it's sort of like a, supposed to be a help system, kind of like a, the Dark Souls, Dark Souls ground effect. Ooh, modded games can always get quite interesting. Bam! There we go. Angles. Let's go back there. Grab this guy. I 
didn't really play a lot of Left 4 Dead now that I think about it. I mostly played more, um, Killing Floor. That one was a little bit more, a little bit more of an RPG. That was the one I really jammed with. Hmm. Hey, Glottal. Glottal, Glottal, Glottal. It's, uh, we're 0 for 2 on the bonus stars today, even though they were very, uh, very obvious where they were. Just could not, could not apply my noodly little brain to it hard enough to, uh, to solve it, and I decided to move on. But, uh, I did go back at the start, um, I don't remember if you were around where we, uh, we flipped the moon around. Um, it turns out that was not, um, that was not for the bonus star, it was actually an easter egg. Um, and there's a second part where you can get a key and use it in a viewfinder and look at the moon and uh, Wheatley's on it. It's a, it's a portal two, little Portal 2 easter egg. Oh, uh, ads are about to start, so if you need to adjust volumes, do so post haste. Yeah, it turns out I was right in that the bonus star actually was related to the temple puzzle. Um, there was a spot near the entrance in shadow that actually was a corner that you go around. Um, and then the bonus star, you had to, you had to, you still had to solve the puzzle and bring some of the stuff out to, to finish getting to the bonus star, but like, I was on the right track, but the moon was a giant red herring that distracted me. Fine, I'll hydrate. Um, oh, it looks like this map doesn't have a bonus star, so we don't need to waste any time. Um, let's see what our chat partner in the terminal has. It's me again. What happened? Oh, a stretch. Ah, oh, fine. Ugh. Ugh. Oh. I don't know how long we have. Must type quick. In case something happens. The word is faith. Network connection lost. There's a problem with your request, Administrator. It was flat out unreasonable. Why persist with these inquiries when they are so hopeless? I'll tell you what. If you promise to never access the communications portal again, we'll say no more about it. Are we agreed? Wait, there's no need to... Error. Master key received. Would you like to manually override the system and exit to the real world? Your progress here will be saved and may be continued later. Yes. I feel like I'm, um, uh, someone's having one over on me. Come on now. Are you really still buying all that nonsense? You're still holding on to some of those pesky beliefs of yours, aren't you? There is no one on the other end of the communications portal. 
There is no magic word that shuts down the server and drops you into the world. There is only me and you and an eternity of doubt. Everything else is just a convenient lie to keep you on the treadmill. Uh huh. The fact doesn't stop you buying into a secret word that somehow deactivates the entire world, did it? Are you kidding me or what? Do you remember when we first met? We had that talk about not believing everything you see, and yet it all it took all it took to catch you out was a little techno babble and change of formatting. Hello. I'm all alone and scared, just like you. I'll agree with anything you say if it makes you believe me. Are you really so reckless with where you place your faith? Yeah. You know, I'm not really checking your profile. I just do that to make you feel more comfortable. Really, I just remember everything you ever said. At any rate, I agree. But you know what? I'll accept that I've rather dominated this discourse. I've been asking a lot of questions, and I've not really given you a chance. Why don't you have one free question on me? And I'll answer it as honestly as I possibly can. No tricks. But think carefully before asking. What am I? What are you? What is your name? How do I get out of here? How is this place related to the human world? What's at the top of the tower? What happened to the person I was talking to? And I don't care to question you. Huh. See, we know what I am. I'm a robot. Uh, don't know who he is, don't know his name. I don't feel like I would trust whatever name he, he claims anyway. How do I get out of here? Um, obviously he lies. I mean, we're in a simulation, so we're, we're, you know, we're in some place in the human world. You know... The cheeky thing would be I don't care to question you, but as I've learned from even my games of, of Mafia, uh, any question can produce good results. Also, thank you, thank you for this, uh, the guest subscription to Iris. Whee! So that's what's at the top of the tower. You may very well ask. Me? I don't know. Never been. I suppose you're still expecting a button marked off or a portal to another dimension? I reckon no matter how high you climb, the most you'll get is an increasingly zoomed out view of right back where you started. Still, go ahead. Prove me wrong. The big voice in the sky can't be in all places at all times, can he? Are you satisfied? No. As if I particularly care either way. So look. Here's the rub. Feel free to access the library. No better cure for broken beliefs, realizing everyone's got them. You can ignore me entirely. You can climb to the very tip of that madman's tower and drink from that golden nectar there. But once you understand that you and I will be stuck here together for the duration, do come back and pass the time. Well, that guy, uh... I got, I got, they got a little, they got a little cheeky. Um, but also, I still don't know. It's boarded up. Why can't I get in? What's going on? Um, but uh, if you don't know Galadol. This carousel has some of the most amazing setups they've been doing with uh, with both live 2D, um, in a Twitch throwing system, and streamer bot. Um, certainly a lot of resources I started using because of seeing what they've done, but bloody hell, it seems every day they've, they've taken their game to a whole new level. So, if you are not already following them. I probably should not like raid in the glot attempt to raid in the glotto right now. I feel like that's not right. Um what was what was my button? Hmm. 
There we go. Now I remembered how to use my commands. But uh, definitely, definitely give that carousel cat a check out. And his adorable blueberry spider cat monstrosity waddles. Um, you can boop at Snoop. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Let's let's go ahead and do another another round of terminals just to get the booping away. Uh, let's finish the Osiris chatbot first. So, hearing the call of the morning birds as they greeted the dawn, the scribe spoke. At the end of your journey, when every trial has been completed, when all the gates have opened before you and your soul has been weighed in the Tower of Anubis, your Ka and your Ba shall be reunited. And thus you shall become an Ankh, and awaken in the eternal reed fields of Osiris, and there, in the holy Aru, you shall begin a new life amongst the gods and other blessed spirits. Excuse me. And who will I be? The dying man asked. You shall be the memory of all that was, and the knowledge of the journey, and the shape of the days to come. Thus ends the tale of the dying man and the scribe. Praised be Osiris, the foremost of the Westerners, the king of eternity, the lord of everlastingness, whose ka is holy. Oh, another chat log. Great. So I think, what's the point, right? Yeah. I keep thinking about my aunt. Have I told you about her? I don't think so. She's super rich. Like, she drives around in a ridiculously expensive sports car. She goes on vacations to the Bahamas. And she has this huge house that feels more like some sort of corporate HQ than a home. She worked really hard to get all that. But she also screwed over a lot of people, including her own family. I used to be quite angry at her for what she did to my parents, but now I think, what did she get out of it? She and her husband are always fighting. Their son's become so obsessed with money that he ruined his own family. I mean, yeah, they have everything that I always dreamed about, but I can't enjoy any of it. My grandfather was like that. And now, at the end, what does any of it mean? If you have all the money in the world, but you die alone and unloved, what did you accomplish? I don't get it. I just don't. I mean, they do say money, money doesn't buy happiness. But, uh, boy does it sure alleviate a lot of potential stress. And I also rarely see someone frowning when they're on a jet ski. Um, so it sure doesn't hurt. Norwegian Blue. Hi folks, I'm sorry to say that a few hours ago I experienced the first symptom. I'm going to work until the end of the week to make sure L is in perfect condition, but after that, I'll be going back home. I will remain reachable via email and phone for as long as possible, but I'm confident that Satoko can deal with anything that comes up. If you want to do me a huge favor, spare me the drama tomorrow, okay? I love you all, but I don't have the strength for sad smiles and hugs. The best remedy for sorrow is to get the job done. And now, for something completely different. Smiley face. Dead parrot sketch. <laughs> well, that's some that's some gallows humor. So I, I think uh, I think this is definitely a uh, a disease apocalypse situation uh, since they're talking about symptoms, but maybe not something directly transmissible. So this is not COVID. All right. So the game was not prescient. Um, <laughs> uh. Or at least I hope it isn't, because he's going back into work with his colleagues. That'd be a pretty big dick move, bruv. I have found just one voice of reason in the computer archive of all place. That seems we are becoming close friends. Do not befriend the serpent, for it will penetrate your breast, and sow its seeds of doubt. Oh, oh my. Um. Wow. I don't have my blush emojis here, either, so ooh. I feel like I feel like the breast is not where one should be penetrating with serpents. There is no hope. Always boxed in. Walls everywhere. Even where there seems to be freedom, it is false. Invisible walls. No way out. 
Who invited this guy? <laughs> Handle the other guy. <laughs> I'm not the first one to undertake these trials, that much is clear. If you are reading this, then neither will I have been the last. Ooh, we have a voice. Uh, that's... Sputnik? I'm pretty sure that's Sputnik. On the first night, when I knew it was over, I went out to look at the stars. And I thought, somewhere up there are the stations we built, and the probes we sent out. Voyager 1 and 2, beyond the edge of our solar system, continuing their long journey through interstellar space. Like memories of our ambition. Ambassadors who have outlived their homeland. And then I thought, if they still exist, are we really gone? If machines are an extension of the human body, then so long as they continue to function, we're still here. Yeah. Yeah, that's certainly a lot with my thought. Um, I might I might have already said it before, but like if we if we are if we do manage to get a true artificial general intelligence, I, I sort of think it would basically be another human. Basically birthed not biologically, but birthed intellectually. Um, I, I feel it would certainly continue the chain of uh, a human human experience. How do you solve a problem that extends beyond your own lifespan? That question may be the essence of civilization. The only answer I can find is to initiate a process, to create an environment in which the solution will occur independently of yourself. But that requires a difficult sacrifice, letting go of your desire to bear witness, to exist at the center of the cosmos, to participate in the project of civilization is to accept death. Oh, Alex, you're such a fun person. That certainly is a lot of... Like, if we think of, like, really complex scientific advancements that take... Or even, not even, like, scientific advancements, but just, like, the advancements of broadly civilization. It's always done incrementally, everyone adding another brick until the wall piles high enough that a change occurs. Like we, even even talking of just like governmental situations, you know, we've gone through many iterations and even our current one of nation states could just be another step into something even better. Ah, fuck. Okay, um... Can I reach that from here? Yeah. Okay, I can reach that, but to what point? I'm also reminded of, like, one of the earliest measures of um, human civilization is where people were making crude, um, not bandages, but they were like setting the bones and making crutches for people. Um, because it's, it's the thought that they may not be able to contribute 100% like um, an uninjured person, but you still care for them. They're still a part of the human group, and they still have value even through um, imperfections, one might say. Um, and there's still valuable insight to them being around. Right? Where the? F I need to to even open that. No, no, I don't. Right? I can okay, I can open that without any help. I'm gonna run through, we'll hit the button. Oh, that's it. Oh. Alright, 
that's... Huh. Okay. I was overthinking that way too much. Alright, do we have anything at the top of the pyramid this time? Nope. Anything on these pillars? What about you? Nope. Alright. Actually, was there a bonus star in this map? I forgot. I forgot. There's two bonus stars! Yay! Fantastic! We would love to see it. Uh, Alright, let's check the outside world real quick. See if there's anything, any low hanging fruit. I see a. Th Is there QR codes on this? There is. No way out, no way Oh, hmm. That program is not doing so hot. Okay, I can't go out there. Alright, let's, um, let's see if we can find any bonus stars as we work through the puzzles. Whole lot of jamming. I need a... I know there's... I know I got the Rat Jam and Cat Jam from, uh... BTTV, but I need, I need a, I need a Drucky, Drucky Jammies, now that I think about it. Epitaph, Child Program B-72, Codename Samsara, Terminated Here. Logic Program Elected to Reset. Final Memory Dump. It is clear I cannot bend the world to my will. Faced with eternal torment, I see that overcoming these challenges will not free me from them. True freedom must come with detachment from the struggle for answers. Progeny, Samsara V5. V5.4, okay, okay. Alright, so we got one Jamba. One Jamba Lamba. Can't go that way. Yet. What about here? Ah! Alright. We got a torsion the balls, so they're separated. Ah. Oh, I did this too early. Let's see. I need keys. Keys from Batman. Okay, that's the that's the thing in the jig. All right, noted, noted. Well, the keys are over there. Oh, whoops, whoops, it's easy. Okay, I have the keys, but where do I use them? a uh, simple robot. No need to um, interrogate me further. Ah, ooh, we get three Jamba Lamos. Don't mind me. Alright, okay, so we need to bring this around. What have I done? Hold on. Am I a fool? Am I a foolish fool? I need to jam this. Give me a little bit! <sighs> I can't outrun the bomb. Alright, this is a twisty, bloody. Where was the first jammer? 
I guess I turned around too early. No? There it is. Nope. Gotta offset the balls. Hmm. No. I need the key first. I want to do that again. Oop. Hold on. Check the walls for any buttons while I'm over here. Okay. Now we go in. Nope! Alright, I need to make them much more separated. That's annoying, but fine. Whatever. Be that way! I need to take it to get that one. All right, all right. Oh, actually I need to hide over here so it goes back. Then I grab it. Maximum effort! No. No! No! Actually, wait, no. I can, I can leapfrog it. this. I'm a smart serpent. Hell yeah! Mission accomplished. Freeze you. We are going to walk these out in a safe, responsible manner. got three cameras. Cut that one. Uh, looks like we got some pans rolling in soon. So if you need to adjust the volume, do so now. If you've got a prime sub, make sure you use it. 
gotta take that money from Bezos. Whether here or anywhere, all is good. Mmm, I need to do a little leapfrogging. Yeah, it would have been really awkward if I got gunned down right at the end there. Huzzah! Another puzzle down. Another puzzle bites the dust. And another one down. Another one down. Another puzzle starts the dust. Hey, I'm gonna solve you too. Another puzzle bites the dust. I asked the serpent its name. It told me it was called Milton. No, uh, my name's Drecky. You know, it's the words. Words are very similar. I understand. You are a constantly iterating computer program. Maybe you had a few bits swapped. Ooh, found a secret terminal. Second thesis. In man, as the only rational creature on Earth, those natural predos predispositions which are intended for the use of his reason should be completely developed only in the species, not in the individual. Reason in a creature is a faculty for extending the rules and purposes for the use of its powers far beyond natural instinct, and it knows no limits in its designs. Yet it does not act according to instinct, but requires trials, practice, and instruction in order to progress from one degree of insight to the next. Therefore, each human would have to live excessively long in order to learn how he could make full use of his natural capacities, or, if nature had given him only a short term of life, as she indeed has, so she would require a perhaps unpredictable series of generations, each passing its enlightenment to the next, to finally develop her seeds in our species to the degree that she considers appropriate. And that point in time must be, at least as far as an idea, the goal of man's efforts, for otherwise his natural capacities would have been regarded as largely meaningless. Kant Emanuel. Ah, lovely Kant. Hmm, interesting. Limited lifespan, successive generations, passing messages on to each other. That sounds kind of familiar. Anyway. Robots! Apropos of nothing. There once was a robot from Spain who went a little insane. It found that its data had never left beta and needed to upgrade its brain. There once was a robot, there once was a bot from Japan whose eyes the numbers could scan. It found that the facts required an axe and a very serious plan. There once was a brilliant AI whose circuits were built to not fry. It got caught in a loop. It got caught in a loop. It got caught in a loop. <laughs> what, said he, makes the difference between man and all the rest of the animals of the animal creation? Every beast that strays beside me has the same corporeal necessities with myself. He is hungry and crops the grass. He is thirsty and drinks the stream. His thirst and hunger are appeased. He is satisfied and sleeps. He rises again and is hungry. He is again fed and is at rest. I am hungry and thirsty like him, but when thirst and hunger cease, I am not at rest. Segment four. Then raising his eyes to the mountain, this, said he, is the fatal obstacle that hinders at once the enjoyment of pleasure and the exercise of virtue. How long is it that my hopes and wishes have flown beyond this boundary of my life, which yet I never have attempted to surmount? Hmm. 
I'm not familiar. I feel like it's pulling from a specific text, but I, it's not ringing a specific bell. Hold on. So, 1957 by Johnson Samuel. Samuel Johnson. Hmm. Too, too common... Samuel and Johnson are too common of a name to, to stick out. What was I thinking? Um, speaking of robots, one thing that came to mind was um, the Bobiverse. Oh, let me check these QR codes. Few come this far, but I believe we must seek out the secrets of this world if we want to truly serve the generations to come. Selfie L? Have you tried crossing the laser beams? But, um, um, Bobiverse. Um, so, it's an interesting book series, um, where basically a guy, a person's brain is uploaded as uh, digitized, essentially. And then it goes into the future, and they sort of, um, or rather, I think, I think they passed away and they had like been elected into like, hey, if I die, you know, you can upload my brain into a computer as in a science experiment if you want, I guess. I can't remember, it's been a minute since I've read them, but essentially he ends up as um, a human brain, but with a digital existence and essentially being, you know, immortal, quote unquote. Um, and he starts kind of creating copies of himself, and it gets kind of interesting. It stays, it has a very overall playful kind of, um, tone. It's not super gritty and serious, even though there, there's a bit of action, there's a bit of, um, bit of questions that get tickled. But, uh, it's a pretty nice and succinct book to check out, if you're maybe thinking of, um, Sort of like exploring the the concept of, of living forever or living it as a digital life form. Because, um, you know, if you're a human mind, you know, we're sort of limited by our years uh, uh, for experience. When you start adding on a few zeros, a few thousands, um, things get weird. Yeah, it's, uh, the, uh, yeah, my, I, I had some helpful, helpful books over here, um, to, uh, help me with the philosophizing, um, because I'm not a professional, um, and, you know, ma master, master debating is, uh, really good for improving your rhetoric, um, helps you, helps you do the talking. Why did you give me a cube? What am I going to do with a cube? Okay, so I need... Hold on. Can I just... Oh, I guess I can. Just, like, jump over. Okay. Cool beans. Ha! Ha! There we go. I meant to throw that. Grab this. All right. So now. This. Grab the camera. What are we missing? Why is there an extra cube? All right, I feel like there's got to be a bonus star hidden over here now. What is going on?
So I have a jammer. Can't get around using it unless I get a red. But I need a blue. I need a blue to even unlock this mirror. Ultimately, I just need to get this red here. Okay. This can all be reached, actually. Like this? No, it gets hit with the wall. Thank you for the head dots. I see. What if... Oh, you know what? That won't work because it's going to hit that and not function. Hmm... Did I miss something that was hidden over here? No, no, there wasn't anything over there. Curious. Most curious. Ah. So it's like I've got a cube. Hmm. Am I overlooking something? Like, I can jam this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Have this. Um, I think just in case, I want to put this on a box. Other than that, I, by Jove, I think we've got it. I need that box. What does the box say? It says nothing. It's just, it's just a box. I'm not supposed to speak. Bada bing, bada boom. We have found the room. And I have a box. Why do I have an extra box? Um, that is a very good question, my friend. I kind of want to take the lasers out and see if hitting... I wonder if I can do something with hitting the red on there, but I'm not sure. Because we know... Are two bonus stars. 
I wonder if those that extra box lets me get something high enough. All right, I need you to stop, stop, stop. this hitting anything. Do I need to jam something, maybe? Hold on. Grab this. Hmm. Uh-oh. Where did I put that out my free box? No! Box! I got one. I got two. Oh, there it is. I got three boxes. Sure, I can climb up, but like, to what end? You know, the only reason I can think of this is if I need both, um lasers and I drop the box outside or I drop the jammer outside so let me see if I can even do that Actually, there's no way I can see of how I would get a red there, so maybe I just get a prism. Let's do this. Nothing else here. Against the wall. Alright, so we got that. Then do that. Put it on top. Alright, fine, fuck it. We'll deal with this later. I wouldn't be able to grab it from over the wall anyway. Oh, that's gonna bug me! I know that extra box is used for something to the bonus star, but I have not seen where they are. I'm sure that uh, that glitch is fine. Uh, that'll that'll buff right out. that. Nah, paint bucket. Big lump of mine. Hmm. This looks, um, hazardous, to say the least. It's uh, uh, ballin' out of control. So my first thought is something like this. Okay, I need to adjust this point a little bit. Ah! Scoop the shit out of me. Ah! 
Ah! All right, that didn't work. <laughs> nope. Tried to thread the needle there. Wait a minute. Can I? No way. No fucking way. No way. Is it really this easy? <laughs> ah, they never look up. Those fools. Give me a box. Oh, good. I did need both boxes. We are balling in control, my dudes. Colleagues, comrades, critters. Alright. Okay, so we've unlocked, um... Dude doing the Y... We've unlocked the YMCA, um, item. So we can now do the Y. Alright, I think that's all. Yep. So, obviously, I need to visit the pyramid. That's, like, there's absolute, like, there's a, there's an entrance. I gotta, I gotta run at it. There's gotta be something over there. Oh, hey, there's a knocked over pillar. Huh. Hey, a bonus star. We found one. I see. We do need to take something out of one of the maps to get to it. Oh. Another huge pyramid. What mad ambition it must have taken to build such things. Just a big pile of rocks. So let's see, we have a very obvious place to get an extra object out. Or rather, there's a very obvious extra object that it seems it might be useful to get something out. The problem is, is most of these walls are very high. Oh, it completely reset it, basically. Oh well, at least it keeps the door open. So how would I... where is the lowest wall? Is there like a particularly low wall anywhere? Like where am I aiming to throw something outside the map? I suppose that is the $15 question. Like I would think over there somehow. Jam.
I can get two cubes. Will that let me drop something out? Um, hold on. Actually, I need to kind of solve so I can get that other fucking thing. Come with me. Come with me, and you'll see. It's a whole lot of jamming. It tastes great, or maybe strawberry. Grab you. Cool, cool, cool. Backtrack. Backtrack. Now that we have plus one items. Yes, yes, yes. Cool, cool, cool. I need it to be one layer higher. Like that. But then I can't place the fucking thing on it. Alright. Might as well roll out. I don't want to bash my head against it too long. The land of tombs is yours now, and let this be a lesson that only through faith may death be conquered. Ah, uh, we don't have the stuff for that. That's the bonus stars. It's the elevator. All right, so it looks like that is it for the Egyptian era. So let's see what the post area terminal has to say. Oxy Rankus. Oh, Book of Osiris. Maybe I should have read this when I before I went in. The Book of the Scribe of Osiris, sometimes all too, also referred to as the Book of the Journey to Aru, is an ancient Egyptian text discovered in the excavation of Oxy Rankus, and has caused a certain degree of controversy among Egyptologists. As some argue that his classic funerary text, such as the Book of Coming Forth by Day, while others believe it to be poetic work not intended to be understood literally. The book tells the story of a dying man who asks a scribe about, about the afterlife, 
the scribe, a servant of Osiris, describes how the man's ka, life Okay, so we actually have a definition of what ka is now. Ka, life force, will become separated from his ba, personality. And how he will have to reunite the two and become an ankh, living intellect. Passing a series of trials in the Duat, underworld, in order to reach the paradise of Aru. Unlike similar texts, the Book of the Scribe of Osiris focuses less on giving advice or something. A recent study, Karahan Hassan, suggests the text may have been intended as philosophical commentary on the world of the living through the allegory of the Duat. It remains unclear whether this was the intent of the original pre-Alexandrian author or a result of the later translation into Greek. The earlier mans manuscript, which is considered to be more on authentic, is too fragmentary to provide answers, though perhaps further excavation may err. Interesting. So the separation of life force and personality. You need both to be a living intellect. So you could also, I imagine, think of this as Ka being your your um, your body, your physical body, and Ba being your consciousness. So like as a digital ent entity, you only have a Ba. You don't have a physical body to exist, and you need to unite the two. Hmm. It's kind of it's always kind of interesting taking old old stories and fables and myths and um thinking of them in a different context. <laughs> Turns out all the Egyptians were Sundaris. If you have both, you're a Baka. <laughs> What is Oxycrin? I haven't heard of this one. The great irony of Oxyrhynchus papyri is that such a vital source of information about the ancient world exists only because of a garbage dump. While the library of Alexandria burned at the hands of fanatics and conquerors, depriving us of unimaginable insights into history, philosophy, and art, the papers carelessly thrown away by the citizens of Oxyrhynchus survived to the modern day. And though it is true that a great deal of what we know today is because of the conscious efforts of individual and organizations, such as the spectacular translation and preservation work done during the Islamic Golden Age, so much more is simply the result of coincidence and luck. We've lost texts that ancients considered to be absolutely essential, while utterly trivial. Even plagiarized work has survived unharmed. So if we want our descendants to remember more than glittering, glittering emo vampires and auto-tuned teen pop stars, well that fucking dates this game a little bit. <laughs> we have to invest in something. Make sure that error, error, error. That tower again. Uh, let me check if there's anything behind Bravo Station. Negative. Oh, what's this? Is this an extra bunker? Are you fucking kidding me? There's fucking- No. 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 We didn't see anything. Nothing is back there. The game, there's an invisible wall blocking us from going behind the tower. 